Hello Instagram, hello Facebook. We are here with a resilience meditation. This is a beautiful meditation called the RAIN technique. It's a meditation process that I learned from one of my teachers, Tara Brock. I am in a two-year meditation mindfulness teaching certification program with Tara Brock and Jack Cornfield. And I just led this meditation yesterday in my peer group. I wanted to offer it to you guys because it was so profound. So the RAIN meditation in particular builds self-compassion, and this is a great practice to build resiliency, especially in dealing with any kind of difficult situation. So we're gonna work on this for about 10 minutes, and it's a little bit longer than my usual lives. Hang in there, come back, this will be recorded for you all. So the RAIN technique for self-compassion, how to cultivate resilience, and manage any difficult situation. This is a psychological tool for us to begin to explore and investigate those challenging situations in our life and reframe them and recognize our, our beauty and our resilience amidst the inevitable curveballs that life throws our way. So RAIN, R-A-I-N, stands for an acronym. Um, R is recognize, so the first Step is to recognize what we're, what's happening, what's going on. A is for allowing, and I also like to say accepting, allowing the experience to just be there, to just be what it is. I is for investigating with interest, with interest and curiosity, investigating what's happening for you in that circumstance. And then N is for nurturing, nurturing ourselves, with self-compassion. And it also can represent non-identification. So a certain detachment, a non-identification. And this is a great yoga tool and Buddhism tool for remembering who we really are, that we are spirit. So how do we show up? How do we inquire, become curious about whatever difficulty we might be facing? All right, so. We're going to go ahead and jump into this meditation. Please close your eyes, assuming you're not driving. Um, close your eyes. Take a moment to drop in. If you're driving, you can just keep your eyes open. Try not to go into too relaxed of a state. I'm going to take this moderately, a couple deep breaths to begin. And exhale everything. Two more inhaling. And exhale everything. And one more inhaling. And while you're here, just notice what you notice. Notice your feet on the ground. Notice the palms maybe facing upwards or downwards. So again, this is a great practice for you to bring into your students and clients. Very helpful tool. Love for you to just take a moment, scan your life and notice any places that might be a little sticky, anywhere you're feeling frustration or a growing edge, um, something that might be challenging you right now. And choose one thing and choose something that's mild to moderately uncomfortable in your life. So you're not going to choose something that's like super traumatic or intense, something that's mild to moderately uncomfortable. And bring it into your mind's eye. I'm going to take a moment to draw forward this experience. And if it involves someone else, you can perhaps see their face or bring them into this meditation as well. And take a moment to simply acknowledge, to simply allow, acknowledge, recognize what's happening, this circumstance in your life. There might be words associated, there might be images. And the first step out of our denial or out of our resistance or out of any sense of unworthiness is just to recognize, to become aware. So notice surrounding this experience, whatever it might be, if you have a voice of shame, of blame, if there is any feeling of fear or a constriction of anxiety, 
just notice, recognize any symptoms or signals in your own system for what's going on. And simply note, this is a very helpful tool, a mental tool called noting, that you note what your experience of this is. So if you can name an emotion attached to it or name a thought, maybe it's scarcity thinking or maybe it's anger or resentment, grief, just noting. This is the first step of the RAIN technique to recognize what's going on to simply name it. Second step is A for allowing, accepting. So honor, we respect any feelings or emotions or sensations that we might have, any thoughts that we might have. We really respect our process. We really respect our psyche. Respect your own feelings and thoughts. You might name them, you might name them without trying to change, without trying to fix. Simply allowing things to be exactly as they are. To honestly and clearly look at, to allow and accept, to embrace. Acknowledge any arising. And this might include arising of judgment, arising of fear. And while you're here, you can keep using your breath to neutralize And finally, in this stage of allowing, you might offer yourself a simple phrase or an encouraging word. If you notice a feeling arising, you might just say yes. Or you might say it's okay. So in this way, you are affirming, you are respecting whatever you're experiencing. Allowing it to be okay. It's okay. I hear you. I see you. It's okay. Yes. Third step of I investigate with interest and curiosity. You become your own best friend. You really inquire like a good friend would listen to you and ask you more questions about what you're experiencing. Whatever the circumstance is, this difficult, challenging experience in your life, begin to walk around it in your mind's eye. You might see yourself walking around it and looking at it from different angles. Notice if there are any images that arise, any memories that might be connected to it, any other associations with other people or things. Keep noticing your breath. And you might ask yourself, what am I believing about this? What most wants my attention? What does this vulnerability want? Or what does this tender place in me need? So what do I most need or what do I most want? So we simply inquire and investigate with interest and care, kindness. Becoming curious.
we stay in a non-judgmental awareness. And finally, working with this difficult situation, the last stage is to nurture, to nurture ourselves with self-compassion. So I invite you to make some sort of gesture to yourself. It might be in your mind's eye that you're bowing in namaste to your innermost self. It might be a hand on your heart, one hand on top of the other on your heart. It might be you making a statement towards yourself. You might make a positive affirming statement like, I am sorry, or I love you, or I love you and I'm sorry this happened to you. Even just an affirmation of I see you and I hear you. This is not fair. This is not fair. You have a right to be upset. I understand. You might visualize a rose gold or a glowing warm light descending down through your body or emanating outwards from your heart. In whatever way works for you, blessing yourself, offering a gesture of, of kindness and compassion towards yourself. And then finally, if this involves anyone else, you can offer them a gesture of compassion and release anyone else involved in this difficult situation. Stay connected to your heart and begin to let go. Let the situation release, let the circumstance release. And as you're ready, you can gently blink your eyes back open completing the rain technique by observing, looking around, noticing what you notice, bring yourself here and now. And then again, offer yourself a blessing, gratitude for showing up for this practice, for beginning to practice reframing, self-compassion, resilience, that it is inevitable. Life is going to throw us curveballs. And the only thing we can do is control how we work with it in very, very, very subtle ways, learning to unwind our mental, emotional patterns and work more skillfully. This is yoga psychology, that we learn to identify those triggering thought forms or patterns and reshape them back towards what the Buddhists call the heart mind, that we're coming from the heart mind compassion. So hopefully you enjoyed this RAIN technique. Recognize, allow, accept, investigate with interest and care, and nurturing, nourishing yourself with self-compassion, and also non-identification. Recognizing that you are not the experience, you are not the thing. Thank you so much. So great. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to be back here at least every week, hopefully a little more often, and um, doing more and more Facebook Live. So please join the Facebook group, Yoga for Mental Health. That's posted right there. The link it in Instagram. And um, please, please uh, let me know what you guys want to learn about. Send me questions. DM me. Leave it in the comments below. And send you all so much love. Namaste, namaste. Mm -hmm.